a dark warning from the head of the United Nations at the start of a race to protect the world's ecosystems. Unsustainable production and monstrous consumption habits are degrading our world, and uh, humanity has become a weapon of mass extinction. Some 200 nations are in the Canadian city of Montréal trying to agree on a roadmap for protecting biodiversity over the next decade. But a legally binding agreement for protecting plants and animals is proving as contentious as trying to limit toxic emissions causing global warming. Indigenous people's groups interrupting Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on the opening day and protesting outside with their demands for equity in any deal. I think in the context of climate change, there was a, a research done in terms of how much indigenous peoples are getting support financially to do the actions that they are doing in the ground. And it's very, very little. And that's quite surprising to the people who are protecting the 80% of the biodiversity are receiving less than 1% of, of the financial support. And despite Canada announcing 800 million Canadian dollars to support indigenous-led conservation, this argument over equity and biodiversity continues to overshadow discussions. The streets around this highly secure convention may be quiet for now, but those protesters have raised crucial questions that even the organizers of the COP15 admit are difficult to resolve. How will any global agreement on biodiversity cater for what's known as digital sequences information? That's the gathering of genetic material from things like plants used in a huge range of products from COVID vaccines to food additives. Indigenous communities around the world say that rich nations and their corporations often steal their intellectual property and cut them out of the profits they make from those kinds of products. It's a rich nations versus poor nations divide that often characterizes negotiations relating to climate change and biodiversity. Nevertheless, delegates are determined to find an agreement called 3030, protecting around a third of the planet's natural land and ocean habitats by 2030. But even that target is problematic, with some conservationists warning indigenous communities will be evicted from their homes in the name of biodiversity protection. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Montréal.